For centuries, coffee has been both praised and mocked. It has been blamed for causing impotence and insanity, as well as being a cure for laziness or a gift from heaven. It's heavy stuff. But what are the actual scientifically proven disadvantages and drawbacks of coffee that we are aware of today? Let's take a look at my list. Number one, bad coffee can be toxic. Bad quality coffee can contain a lot of impurities, which can cause sickness, headaches, or just a bad feeling in general. This can happen if your coffee is made from overripe or otherwise ruined beans. Even one spoiled bean can contaminate your cup. Number two, coffee can kill you. Yes, you heard it right. If you drink 80 to 100 cups, 23 liters, in a short session, this dose is lethal and will amount in 10 to 13 grams of caffeine within your body. Number three, coffee can cause insomnia and agitation. Again, it's the caffeine working here. The recommended maximum amount of caffeine is 400 milligrams, which is roughly equivalent to four cups of coffee. If coffee reduces your sleep quality, try quitting coffee late in the day, such as after 2 p.m. Number four, say bye to coffee if you're pregnant. Studies on coffee's effect on a fetus have been controversial, but one thing is sure. If you drink coffee when pregnant, caffeine will also reach the fetus, and your baby is highly sensitive to caffeine. Number five, pee at night. Studies have shown that caffeine consumption of five to seven-year-old kids may increase enuresis, aka bedwetting. Number six, coffee can affect conception. Caffeine consumption can increase the risk of miscarriage when trying to conceive, so those trying to start a family should be cautious and monitor their caffeine intake. Number seven, coffee is bad for cholesterol. Given some of the compounds found in coffee, too much coffee can lead to increased levels of LDL cholesterol. Too much LDL cholesterol can cause hardening of the arteries, which can in turn inhibit the flow of blood to the heart and deprive it of oxygen. Number eight. Caffeine can cause anxiety. Consuming too much caffeine can cause jitteriness, anxiety, heart palpitations, and even worsened panic attacks. If you are caffeine sensitive and easily overstimulated, you should avoid coffee entirely. Nine, caffeine addiction. I'm talking to all the coffee drinkers here. When people abstain from caffeine, they get withdrawal symptoms, such as headaches, exhaustion, brain fog, and irritability. This can last for a few days. And number 10, Caffeine can cause indigestion. Caffeinated beverage drinkers frequently complain of upset stomach or indigestion. 
This is most common when the beverages are consumed on an empty stomach. Caffeine is a drug that, like any other substance, can have varying effects on different people. We must understand how caffeine interacts with our bodies in relation to our personal health histories. For some people, switching from coffee to a shot of ginger or another naturally energizing beverage may be a better option. 